Good afternoon. How about a little bit of uh, ESL? Lesson number 30. Lesson number 30 with, after this one, there'll be four more less before we start something different. Lesson 30. Susan, I'm cold. Susan, tengo frío. I'm cold. I am cold. Okay. Uh, Susan said that she was cold. Statement. Susan dijo que tenía frío. Okay. I'm cold. Tengo frío. And Susan said that she was cold. Susan dijo que tenía frío. Okay. Then she said that she would do it. She said that she would do it. Ella dijo que lo haría. And then she told me, she told me that she would do it. Ella me dijo que lo haría. Okay. Two signs of my two churches. Over here in the middle. Peter, I usually get up at 6, and then we change the I to, he usually got up at 6. Or we could say, Peter said that he usually got up at 6. Okay? Let's go to George. George, Kevin is steady and hard. Kevin is, Kevin is, the, is, is, is studying hard. And Kevin está estudiando mucho. Okay. We said Kevin is studying hard. And Spanish was, uh, Kevin está estudiando mucho. George said that Kevin was studying hard. George said that Kevin was was studying hard. Jorge dijo que uh, Kelvin estaba estudiando mucho. Estudiando mucho. Okay. The next little picture. Sally says, we are learning a lot. Sally dijo que estamos aprendiendo mucho. We are learning a lot. Mary, Mary says, My mother has been ill. My mother has been ill. Mary, uh, mi madre no ha estado enfermo. Mi madre ha estado enfermo. Okay, enferma, perdón. Can't see the screen, it's too far away, or my eyes are too old. Mary said that her mother had been ill. Mary said that her mother had been ill. Mary dijo que su madre había estado enferma. Okay. Well, let's see what Susan says. Susan, I made a cake. Susan, hice un pastel. I made a cake. Hice un pastel. That's what Susan says. Susan's talking. And then, now Susan's not talking here, but we're repeating what Susan said. Susan said, that she had made a cake. Susan said that she had made a cake. Susan dijo que había hecho un pastel. Someone else is telling the story about Susan. Okay. Michael says, You had been late for work. You had been late for work. And here's uh, Michael. Uh, 
tú habías llegado tarde a trabajar. Oh no. You had been late for work. Michael told me I had been late for work. Michael told me I had been late for work. Michael dijo que yo había llegado tarde a trabajar. Okay, er, John, we will win the match. We will win the match. John, ganaremos el partido. El partido. We would usually say instead of the match, we would say the game. It won the game. Okay, it looks like a very highly competitive group there. Okay, a list of uh, vocabulary words. Vocabulary words, hopefully you know these by now. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, tonight, next week, last week, now, ago. Today it's hoy, ayer, yesterday, mañana, tomorrow, tonight, esta noche, next week, la semana que sigue. Last week, en la semana pasada, and now, ahorita, y algo, uh, algo poquito. Pasa a ser. Okay, that day, that day, ese día, the day before, el día anterior, the following day, or next day, el día siguiente, that night, aquella noche, the following week, la semana siguiente, and then the week before, the week before, la semana, la semana anterior, then, entonces, before, antes. Okay, la referencia especial. Let's see what it's got. Here, this, these. Okay, and this is something that's going to be here, this, these, there, that, those. Okay. Los pronombres objeto al igual que los pronombres sujeto también varían. Okay, Tim. There's an old bike here. Okay, Tim. I'll give you my old bike. I will give you my old bike. Te diré mi bicicleta vieja. Okay. Tim said he would give me his old bike. Tim said he would give me his old bike. Tim dijo que me traía su bicicleta vieja. Okay, word from Molly. Molly, yesterday I bought a ring in this shop. Yesterday I bought a ring in this shop. Molly, ayer compré un anillo en esta tienda. And then the next words from Molly. Molly said she had bought a ring in the shop the day before. Molly said she had bought a ring in the shop the day before. Molly dijo que había comprado an anillo en aquel tienda el día anterior. Okay. Sam, something from Sam. Sam says, my parents are coming here next week. My parents are coming here next week. And Sam in Espanol se dice, Mi padres vienen aquí la semana próxima. La semana próxima. Sam told me that his parents were going there the following week. Sam told me that his parents were going there the following week. Sam me dijo, que sus padres iban 
i.e. la semana siguiente. We're now on the second page, lesson 30, second page. Robert, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Uh, Robert, puedes hacerme un favor? Puedes hacerme un favor? Robert asked me if I could do him a favor. Robert asked me if I could do him a favor. Robert me preguntó si podía hacerle un, un favor. Word from Steve. Steve, do you live in Florida? Do you live in Florida? This is the only part of the lesson that my brother said he understood. And he speaks English. Do you live in Florida? Steve. Steve vives in Florida. Steve vives in Florida? Steve asked me, I lived in Florida. Past tense. Me, whether I lived in Florida. Steve me preguntó si vivía en Florida. Si, si la pregunta comienza por un pronombre, interrogativo, esta se repita en la respuesta. Pamela. Pamela says, what time is it? What time is it? In Spanish, Pamela se dice, ¿qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? And Pamela asks, what time it was. Okay. Pamela preguntó a qué hora es. Pamela asked, what time is it? Talking about what Pam, Pamela does. And when it's just Pamela talking to you, he says, what time is it? And then we say, well, Pam, <laughs> Pamela asked, Pamela asked what time it was. Okay, and then there's Leo. Leo. Leo, how are you? He says, how are you, Leo? Como estas? Como estas? Now, Leo asks, he asked me how I was. He asked me how I was. Leo me pregun preguntó que como estaba. Word from Frank. Frank says, Where did you study? Where did you study? In Espanol, Frank says, Donde estudiaste? Donde estudiaste? Frank asked me where I had studied. Frank asked me where I had studied. Uh, Frank me preguntó que donde había estudiado. And then for the middle chart here. Oh, Pamela's back. Pamela wanted to know what time it was. Pamela wanted to know what time it was. Pamela quería saber que hora era. Okay. Uh, las órdenes Peticiones también se pueden reproducir en estilo indirecto. Para ella hacemos uso de los verbos tell y ask, además de preguntar, también significa pedir. El infinitivo que forma el imperativo imperativo pasa a ser infinitivo con tu. Your father. Okay. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Tu padre dice, siéntete por favor. And it looks like she did. She sat down. Your father told me to sit down. Your father told me to sit down. Tu padre me dijo que me sentara. Me sentara that I would sit down. Okay. 
The doctor says, the doctor says, stop smoking. Good advice. Buen consejo. Okay. El médico deje de fumar. Deje de fumar. And then the doctor told me to stop smoking. The doctor told me to stop smoking from a, another person's uh, talking about the conversation. El médico me pidió que dejara de fumar. He told me dejara de fumar. Si el imperativo es negativo, se coloca not delante de tu. Okay, put it afterwards. Sarah, don't open this box. Don't open this box. Phone's working. Sarah, no abras esa caja. Looks like it's a Christmas box. Sarah asked me not to open that box. Sarah asked me not to open that box. Sarah me pidió que no abriera esa caja. That concludes the lesson. A couple scriptures I want to read, one in Spanish and one in English, the same one. Que el Señor te bendiga y te proteja. Que el Señor te mira con agrado y te muestre su bondad. Que el Señor te mira con amor y te concede la paz. In English, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Great! The Lord may add a blessing to you and protect you and be safe. Uh, don't get any uh, coronavirus. Stay healthy. Use the protection that's recommended and uh, you will have a better chance of avoiding this ugly stuff. Amen. This is the last lesson. See you next time.